Hi everybody, it's Rachel Warner, Topps' fitness and nutrition editor. Okay, so I am in my kitchen. We're cooking at night. I'm actually really digging cooking at night. Some point we'll shift back to the daytime, but you guys are with me tonight. I'm making dinner for me and my little, and I'm making one of my favorite all time recipes, okay? This is sweet and sour fried rice. Fried rice is actually something I make pretty frequently just because it's quick and I feel like I can get everything in, carbs, protein, um, obviously my veggies. You can even, if you needed to, need to up your fat exchanges for the day. You know, I can easily add oil into it. It's like, I love combo meals. So it's like a great combination meal. I can, we can have everything in one dish. So this is my sweet and sour version, okay? So you want rice, brown rice, is always great but remember white rice is just as good you know brown rice is a little bit more nutrient but the the difference is actually pretty minimal it's less than what people think it is the nice thing about brown rice is that oftentimes after you have it you'll feel fuller because it has a little bit more fiber to it and a little bit more protein but again white rice works i have a rice cooker so i'm not one of recommending people buy a lot of appliances now i say this as i have a slow curry next to me and like a ninja back there but seriously though Usually I don't recommend people buy appliances unless you're really, really going to use them. But a rice cooker, that is like the appliance that I use more than anything else. So easy. And plus you can get one for like super cheap. It can make your life just, man, you need quick meals, whether it's meal prep or just quick, like you're going to do something, clean the house or something real quick, vacuum the floors. You can have rice, especially white rice done in like sometimes 10, 15 minutes max. Okay. So, and it's great for you to control portion sizes because you have to measure out the exact amount in order for your rice to turn out the best way in the rice cooker it forces you to measure out so if you are trying to control your portion sizes remember get a cheap one you know if you can splurge remember holidays are coming up great gift idea to put on your christmas list or hanukkah list or kwanzaa or eid etc etc so gift idea for the holidays if you don't have one and you want one okay now my rice, what's gonna have in it is, I've got some broccoli, I've got some edamame, I have some cauliflower also in this bowl, okay? And then all frozen, remember, I really like my frozen veggies because of how much I travel and I come and go and our schedules can get really hectic between me and my daughter. I like just having, I hate food waste. I hate, hate, hate throwing food away. So frozen tends to be my default. So everything in this bowl right now is actually all frozen veggies. I have a little bit of shredded carrots in there too. You guys will see in a second. One thing I did buy fresh today is red cabbage because I love my crunch. So I want a little bit of texture. So I, this is going to be added in in like the last like minute of cooking. Once everything else is like ready to rock and roll, I'm going to spread some of this cabbage on here. And P.S., I'm doing double duty because while I'm making this tonight, I also in this slow cooker have already simmering a soup that I love. I learned how to make it in Germany. It's like this apple cabbage soup. I love it, love it, love it. It's one of my favorite all-time fall um, winter recipes because apples and cabbage are both in season. So sometime I'm going to have to show you guys how to make that. So I bought this because I'm like, I'm going to make this rice tonight. And there were, I can also use the rest of the cabbage so there's no waste in the soup that's cooking in the slow cooker right now too so there's another tip for you and other ingredients so very little you can see i probably have about a tablespoon of tamari left in this bottle so that's going to go on the rice which you guys will see shortly i also have some sesame oil again very little this is probably about two teaspoons worth that's left in the bottle right now i like sesame because it has just a, it has a little bit more of a different taste to it but again olive oil grape seed oil vegetable oil will work too remember just a little bit just a little bit the finishing touch is going to be about a tablespoon you guys can see of i'm using like maple agave syrup but honey would work you could also do like a teaspoon or two of sugar as well i would stick with cane or dark sugar by the way if you're going to do sugar got some turmeric which you guys will see and then I, because it's sweet and sour, but you know me, I always like my little bit of heat. So I'm also going to put in a dash or two of my cracked black pepper too. Okay. Now, so you guys don't have to stand here and watch me cook all my, I already went ahead and stir fried some of this up for you. So you can kind of get a sense. The only thing that's really missing right now, I still got to put in the broccoli and the cauliflower. And like I said, the cabbage is going to be the finishing touch. The other thing you want to keep in mind now for protein, the edamame also has a ton of protein already in it. I also added a little bit of soy chorizo to mine. The other thing that could work in this would be tofu, shredded chicken, 
or tuna. I know I don't talk about seafood a lot, but I actually used to love, love, love seafood. It was probably my favorite protein source before I went vegan. So tuna, like packed in water, drain that, toss it. That would also make an awesome additional protein in this dish, especially if you decide to leave the edamame out, okay? I know we all have our things that we love more than others. So remember, those are all options. Also regular chorizo. I'm using soy chorizo, but just regular chorizo because you guys know me. I like my heat. So I'm like, even though this is meant to be a sweet and sour dish, I'm also, of course, going to add a little bit of spice in. So that's why I added the chorizo into mine. Now, remember, I said this is sweet and sour. So what did I miss? Ta-da! Vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. You could also use a little bit of balsamic vinegar. But again, this I would wait and do at the end so you can do it to taste. You know if you like how, like, how much sour, how much tang you can like. My base amount, especially since I'm making two servings, one for me, one for my kid, that is going to be about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. That's for me. But I would increase that, the ratio, based on the number of people. So if you're feeding, like, three people, then maybe you want to take it to two tablespoons. You got to do it to taste, you know, kind of step your way up to it. Four people, more than that, et cetera, et cetera, okay? But, again... Remember, depending on the type of vinegar, like if I was using balsamic, that would already have a little bit of sweetness to it, so I'd probably leave my sugar out. I probably wouldn't use like honey or agave or sugar if I was gonna be using balsamic, because that already has sometimes a little bit of a sweetness to it, or I would cut the sweetness, whatever you're using for your sweetness, in half by a serving, okay? So just letting you, cutting this serving amount in half, okay, as far as what you're adding to the recipe. Hope that all makes sense. Remember, all the full details are gonna be in the notes in the caption. Enjoy this dish. Let me know what you think of it. Like I said, this is one of my all-time favorite recipes and meals. It's super quick. You should be able to have this on the table, especially with a rice cooker in 25 minutes or less, okay? Everyone have a great rest of the evening, and it's almost Thanksgiving. I'm already got one of my, like, turkey shirts out, so we'll see you soon.